How you doing AP Econ students? It's Mr. Clifford. It's time for an overview of microeconomics unit one. Now the good news for micro and macroeconomics is that unit one basically is the same exact stuff. Right? You're gonna start off with your teacher's gonna explain the idea of scarcity, right? We have unlimited wants but limited resources. You're gonna learn something called opportunity costs and trade-offs. You're gonna jump into the factors of production. You talk about different concepts, basic concepts of economics. You're going to go from there and learn the very first graph, the production possibilities curve, which is a simple graph that explains the trade-offs between producing different products. From there, you'll actually shift the curve and talk about points on the curve. And then after you go from there, you usually jump into talking about trade, right? Trade and how that actually shifts the curve and moves the curve outward and how we can both benefit from trade. And something called comparative advantage, right? Two countries should work together if they have a comparative advantage in the production of two different products. I produce something, you produce something else, and then we trade it and we both end up better off. Another thing you're going to learn is you're going to learn about economic systems. You're going to learn about the free market system or capitalism where individuals own the resources and decide what to produce and how to produce it and who gets it. And you'll also learn about command economies where the government does all those things, decides what to produce and how to produce it and who gets it. Usually end off this unit with something called a circular flow model, which is what you're going to learn next. A circular flow model shows the relationship between the different entities in capitalism, and it's going to be the key to understanding all of microeconomics. All right? Enjoy the unit. Until next time.